Hey fam, bam, welcome back to the channel. Yes. Um, welcome. Yeah, welcome home. We like to say that, right? Yeah, welcome home. Hmm. Even if you're new, even if you're returning, yeah. welcome home. Yeah. I am Rafo. And I'm Dise, of course, and together we are Rafo Dise, in case you haven't figured that one out mm -hmm. already, right? And if you are new, yeah. please do consider subscribing to our channel. Join the fam, bam. Yeah, and mm. today's topic, we are continuing with our series. Yes, what we wish we knew in our 20s, because listen, we made mistakes. Yeah. But we understand what we're human mm -hmm. and that, you know, we go through the phase of life and uh, it's important for us to sort of reflect back yes. and see what we could have done better. But of course, we can't go back, right? Yeah. So we are advising whoever is in their 20s currently yep. or will be going into their 20s yeah. and would like some a bit of advice and to learn from our mistakes mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, to see what your life would be if you yeah. took these little nuggets yeah. from our lives. And remember, fam, we're not experts, right? So yeah. we just... Um, speaking from experience yeah and uh, if you know something even better please do yes. let us know if you know better ways of whatever the topic is all about mm -hmm. please do shout please do yeah. because then you're helping also the fam bam the rest of the fam bam who might know who might want that kind mm. of information uh, because we'll be talking today about our careers your careers fam i just want to ask the question yeah do you feel like you made the wrong decision with your career? You, you think you, you picked the right career? I did. I picked really? the right career. Uh, I love my career. Uh -huh. uh, if, you, if you guys don't know, I am a qualified pilot. And yeah, I love being a pilot. Yeah. And yourself, my love. You know, I, I feel like I did pick the right career, mm -hmm. but it's sort of like I lost the passion for it. Mm. Right? And then God led me to something else. Okay. You know, it's like a passion project. But I, I'm going to get into that. Because he's about to just jump through okay, the whole let, story. Let me I hold want back. him to go through step by step yeah. of his uh, career. Like, yeah. where did it all start? What was your career goal? Okay. Are you there right now? Uh -huh. All right. So, fam, what happened with me was that. Back in the day. Back in, in the school. days. In high school. In fact, primary school. Mm -hmm. I've always been the athletic type, right? Mm -hmm. So, I've always um, participated in athletics as well as soccer. And you, you name the sport, I probably did it, mm -hmm. except maybe like netball or something like that. But I've always loved. <laughs> no, netball. Netball, I, netball. I won't lie. Ish, the girls, man. Ish, you, know, you know, the girls, netball. Hey. But anyway, so. I remember, I, I used to be a playboy, guys. Just in case you didn't know, like this I was just, I was just doing. Actually, <laughs> literally play. No, I'm, 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 I'm owning it. I'm owning it. I was a player. I, I'll own it. I, I was a player dribbling. You know, girls. I've said it before in no, a past video. This is the first time you actually confessed. Oh, that I was. Yes, every single time. I think, I'm, I'm the you one know, who's accusing you. Know, you know, God says we should confess our sins unto one another, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well done. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, that was me. But anyway, so I loved sport all my life. So I figured, you know what? Career-wise, it's going to be something within the sports industry because that's what I love. Mm. So I decided, okay, um, high school, I had to pick my subjects. Oh my goodness. You know when you get to grade 10 and you have to select your subjects? Yeah. Ah, Papa, I took accounting. And then I took science. And I took pure maths. Mm -hmm. And then I took biology. But I knew that biology would help me and because... Science, yeah, science, yeah, yeah, physical biology, science. Accounting, and accounting. And pure maths, yeah. But I don't know why I did accounting, but it's because of Papa. He was like, yeah, you, my son, you must do accounting. I was like, ah, my Papa, me, I'm not good with numbers. Plus, maths, eh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, maths is hard. But nevertheless, I, I, I did that, but I knew that I was going into a science field once I got into university. So I studied a BSc. Once I got to university, I went to UJ, in case you didn't know. I was in Auckland Park. Shout out if you go there. Yay. Um, so I studied sports science okay right it was like a three-year degree and then it was time for me to select to go further and i decided let me do my honors degree mm -hmm. and then i could major in something else mm -hmm. and i thought should i major in sports science or should i go into what's called biokinetics i know it's like a mouthful mm -hmm. but it's not physiotherapy it's nothing like that it's like final phase rehabilitation okay. for athletes and also those who might be in uh, coming post um, surgery from car accidents or any so do you go orthopedic to surgery first and then a biokinetics yes or can you interchange no 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 you go after it's final phase so it's me getting you ready to get back into the real world okay. whether it's your sport finally or you walking and being mobile again right so you'd come see me and i would help you uh, using physical training as well as other methodologies which are very scientific and i loved it guys it was so much fun mm. i did it for a little bit you know i i did my internship and and then I started going into, I went into a corporate field. Now it changed the game because I went into corporate doing health and wellness. And I thought, okay, this is interesting. I'm no more clinical as I used to be, yeah. but I'm more corporate. 
And then what did the corporate entail? It entailed that I was working with corporate individuals. Like, you know, people okay. would come in, I would do more than just a physical therapy. I would do more like a blood related um, testings. I would do glucose testings. I would do health. Um, what, what was this called? Like questionnaires. And I would screen the, the colleagues and we would work with like um, medical aid schemes like that. So it was quite involved because it was corporate setup. Mm -hmm. It was nice for a little bit. Then I realized, nah, this can't be my life. Okay. Because then it was just before I, unfortunately, the company I was working for, it got liquidated and it just went bad, right? So it got bought over and then everybody was supposed to leave the company or else you'd be like retrenched. And I think I did share a video about how I lost my job. Mm. If you haven't seen that, please link above, go check it out. Um, no, babe, your company that yeah. you're talking about, you didn't do that's the first one. Yeah, yeah, that's what the I'm saying. The second one was now the health and wellness vibe. And that's what I was doing. But with construction. Yeah, yeah, in a construction industry. Okay. Yeah, but, but in the corporate side of yeah. construction, not Correct. necessarily on site working. You on, could go to site though. Yeah, I would visit because I worked hand in hand with like safety officers mm -hmm. and I would regulate and check on them and mm -hmm. I was coordinating them. So I would be traveling the country, literally, um, even past the borders actually. I went into the uh, our neighboring um, countries as well. But then it was then when that company now got mm. uh, bought over and lost my job kind of vibe. And I was like, okay, I'm looking for a new job. Mm. But then I was saying, God, is this, because I was starting to lose a passion for what I was doing. Mm. And I decided, you know what, God, I, I want something new. It's a new season. Yeah. Come on, I know there's more to me than just what I was doing. It became repetitive and mundane, but I had a passion for the arts. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very artistic. I'm very, um, I mean, I, I love music. I love theater, theater kind of work, but I, I've never, I've, very I'm very dramatic at times. <laughs> Rachel says, maybe you might also agree with Rachel, but I never pursued that kind of uh, life. I mean, Rachel says I should act. I don't know, maybe I should have went into acting. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but I want you to mm. also get into the fact that it wasn't a straight path for you. Oh no, it wasn't. It was, oh, no. it was very fluctuating. It was yeah. uncertain. It was. There was times of frustration. Yeah, yeah. No, it was frustrating as you put it. Um, I mean, some of the, um, the work that I was doing, it pushed me to limits that I, I'm not going to say I wasn't get up for, but I just wasn't enjoying it. Mm. You know what I mean? I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, the times were not great. I mean, working nine to five kind of style. Mm. I didn't enjoy that because I, I felt like my time was being stolen. Yeah. And I knew that I wanted to be in control of my time. Mm. And I knew that God was calling me to a greater and higher purpose, right? Yeah. Because, hey, let me remind you of the scripture. Proverbs 16 verse nine says, Correct. you see, we may plan our lives the way we want to go, whatever we want to do, but God determines our steps. It is his will that prevails. So I kept praying that God, may your will be done on earth as it. You see, we pray that prayer and then he says, okay, my son, it's a new season. Yes. All right, let me move you now. Yes. And this is when this passion project of being in front of the camera, hey fam, and also behind the camera yeah. came along. And I figured, you know what? And you kind of sort of pushed me into it because... You, you actually encouraged us to start our channel, remember? Yes, I did. Yeah. I did want to start a channel. Ah. Uh, but, you know, you also see that this was a part-time job for DC. Or when we started our, our oh, channel, yeah. you, you enjoyed doing it. And creating content. Creating yeah. content. And he also enjoys editing videos. He yeah. enjoys, you know, just... Videography, videography altogether, yeah. He loves it so much that we had to make a, a decision that yeah. do you continue working or trying to find a job? Because there was a period of time where he didn't have a job mm. and i was the sole provider yeah. um in our household um it was difficult and it was it was it was straining it was it was straining, especially yeah. if you see someone trying to send in their cv so much and he got demotivated a lot yeah so now imagine we are a newly married couple now here's my oh husband. my you, you want me to also mention that actually in that period where I had just lost my job it was then when I just proposed to you you know I feel like we should just do a whole video on that one okay on its own right, right. let's just pop that one <laughs> for like now yeah it was a, a separate video this was that. separate okay. about how things actually panned out yes, yes you know yes, yes. with preparing our wedding and 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 the lobola phases and everything okay. else because we never really dived into that no, right but about the, the mm. fact that even after marriage you know it took a while yeah. because then um, for you to find a stable job. Yeah. And then that's when we realized that, you know what, it's fine. You're very passionate about this. Mm -hmm. Keep it. So sometimes it will need a certain sacrifice from 100%. You to basically say, you know what, it's fine for now. I'll sacrifice maybe 
one person taking on the load for you to just pursue your passion and figure it out and figure it out yeah and literally by god's grace and thank god i did it man because it's right look at god yeah look at god everything is now balanced and i'm where i need to be i believe i have more time not just for creating content being behind the camera and 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 doing all of that running our business kind of thing Mm -hmm. but also that i have time now to serve god on a higher level as well right because that was my biggest deal that i want to do more than just working for man i mean I mean, I have to serve my God. I'm I'm here for a greater purpose, for his kingdom, you know? Yeah. And that's what drives me the most. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's kind of like my backstory. So we'll come so we'll come back to what you would tell my younger self. My 20 year old me or yeah, yes. I will. What about you? Are you you're clearly where you want it to be, you know? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I mean Ruhu, when she was in in high school, she was like, I wanna be a pilot. I'm like Okay, all right. And they look at you, girl. A whole pilot. Come now. Did it not scare you that I wanted to be a pilot? Never. No intimidation. Another video. We should talk about, am I intimidated by you being a pilot and, and uh, you know, in a yeah. male-dominated industry or not? Yeah, okay. Come now. Well, talk to us. Another before. video. Um, okay, so I've always wanted yeah. to be a pilot. I'll say from the age of 13. Yeah. Um, so during school holidays, I did not go to cousins' place, um, to my cousins' places, yeah. um, houses. Yeah. Or Wait, didn't. Visit, friends yeah. or visit, sleepovers, or no sleep, sleepovers. No sleepovers. So obviously I'm home. I've got my siblings, you know, spending Bored. time with them. Um, spending time with them, Aye, you know, no enjoying boring. ourselves. <laughs> and then afterwards, well, yes. Yeah, so, and then we used to play a lot of computer games. So we had a computer, fortunately enough, um, mm. you know, so we used to play games. Like Tomb Raider, Need for Speed, Sims. So Sims made me actually want to consider becoming an architect. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Actually. Tomb Raider, just, I wanted to be a bad girl yeah. uh, a tough girl <laughs> like, she's tough guys don't see her like this eh? see like behind this. closed doors <laughs> hey i'm sorry i got your face <laughs> and just then kidding, um just kidding, just kidding. uh what is it need for speed yeah hence why i love you know driving yeah you, so you, th- these games adrenaline actually, is always on a, always on an uh, adrenaline pumping uh, rush situation. yeah uh, and then came uh, one day my dad uh, uh, brought in a flight simulator and i was like oh, and yeah. he was like hey try this game and then i tried it mm-hmm. um we had a joystick i played microsoft flight simulator 2004 and i enjoyed it so much and um luckily enough it was then i think during grade nine when um it was time to select subjects and then then I, di- then I was like, huh, what am I going to become? I hmm. don't know what I want to be. And fortunately enough, um, on within that same time frame, uh, we're watching the news and it said there's a shortage of female pilots in the industry, yeah. in the aviation industry. And I was like, hmm, I'm playing this game. They want pilots. Hello, I could, just, I'm right here. I could just literally just become a pilot. Uh, but obviously, the, it's very expensive to become a pilot. Mm. And my family didn't have the finances to to help to fund you that. through yeah so after high school what i did i went and i applied through the south african air force uh, i went through the whole um what is it the training mm-hmm. camp it was mm-hmm. a week of training camp yeah. like uh, a boot camp Victoria, but... yes yeah. um and a boot camp it was nice got to meet a lot of people um and then went through tests psychometric testing mm. Mm. um yeah and then high test eye test you know and then after that they had to select between um among the group unfortunately i was i was in the group of you good but uh we've already selected our top seven i think it was seven people Mm. that they selected out of a group of a lot of people so they were like no come back next year and reapply and then i was like okay sure what am i going to do during that time so then i decided to then um instead of sitting at home because remember now this is after my trick Instead of sitting at home, I decided that no, um, let me find something to do. And then I went into telecommunications, you know, trying to sell um, a cell- airtime. Yeah, airtime, fam. And you know how She's horrible it is to, to call someone. So, like, I understand. Call, so was it like call center call style? Call center style. Yeah. So you got through yeah. the whole training. Yeah. I didn't get my certificate. Okay. So yeah, be careful of who you go training to. That's what I would tell myself. So you, f- you feel like that was like a, was a, a scam, scam in a way because oh, we did sell, that's bad. But we did sell something. So I, I, I just have to talk about this one phone call that I made to this woman. And she was like, no. oh, and I'm goodness. like, hi, ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm here on behalf of 
this company. I don't want to mention names. Yeah, please and don't they're expose. Like, no, yeah. sorry, I've got this one, and this one is like the best. So no, sorry, Ouch. I can't do it. Ouch. So shame. I do understand. I do take your calls, shame, when you are working in call center, but I because I understand what you the have hustle to go through, and the yeah hassle, because it's about the amount of calls you have to make. So making a sale and making a sale. Mm. So I found that sales is just not for me. Yeah. You know, I'm just I, I can't lie to you. If you feel like your brand is the best, then she can't lie to I me lie too, to fam. Like I'm I, I see liar. right through it. I'm such a bad liar. But anyway, um, I, so that lasted about what two months, that short. a month, yeah. three months, yeah. And then after that, I went back home, sat, watched movies. But then I was like, then my mom was like, no. Uh, in 2012, my mom was like, no, I'm gonna try paying for you. And um, yeah, in 12th of February 2012, that's when I went for my first intro flight at uh, Johannesburg School of Flying. And um, yeah, we went for my first flight. It's literally the last flight of the day because you have to do night flying and mm. day flying. So mm. there was day flying, the last flight we could do. Okay. So it was sunset, summertime, meaning there's rain. So it started drizzling and then literally Oof, I saw yeah. rainbows and it was so beautiful. I was like, yep. Like, like movie is, setting. Like, like proper. It was like the one, eh? Movie setting. And I was like, yep, this is okay. definitely what I want to do. Um, and yeah, and then I, unfortunately my mom could only pay a few um, lessons. So instead of going back home and watching movies galore, um, yeah. I decided to ask the the the, the manager that mm. can I please be a secretary um, and, and, work stay, and work there yeah. and stay within the, That's the, very indi smart. the industry because That's then very you get smart. to meet people. Mm. And, and you got like one foot in, one foot the, in there. there, you know what I mean? Going home and watching movies. And sitting and being, I could have yeah. gone home and just be like, that oh, is true whatever. Though. Yeah. So then, um, then I, yeah, I stayed there, met people, you know, secretary job, you know, simple stuff. Mm. Uh, but then I, then one day, literally, by the grace of God, it was a raining day. So there's no students. N there was no commotion. It's quiet. So what am I going to do? Go onto Facebook. Of course. And then I went to Facebook. And, and you found me. Nah, oh. No, babe. No, okay. no. I had already okay. found you at that time. Uh, I I you were a chatting. distraction in my life. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. So um, then okay. I, I scrolled through Facebook and literally it popped up. Opportunity of a lifetime. Like, I think. I don't oh, like know. a scam. Another one. <laughs> I know. You oh, but you know the license. You would think that, that like, like, obviously you scam, would, right? Yeah, but yeah. like, for some reason, you know, the peace of God said apply. That surpasses all understanding, understanding. right? Just it, it just guided you. And then I applied, yeah. and mm. then they wanted me to go, to, uh, they called back, I can't remember time frames. Yeah. And then um, to come through to uh, Port Alfred to go for interviews. Unfortunately, I didn't have the money to just fly fly off to go, to go off, okay. for an interview yeah. so they said no okay go through to executive aviation which is at lanceria airport and go for interviews go do it there. there yeah mm. now i went through the interviews first interview was successful second interview was successful third interview was successful literally driving back home and um the hr lady calls me is like uh, congratulations you are the selected, selected recipient to be yeah. um sponsored for uh my a frozen airline transport pilot license um and she was like aren't you excited and i'm like hmm. yeah, yeah. i was like i am it, it but i'm just settled, not eh? that person was like <laughs> <laughs> and remember when i proposed same exactly. thing ah, this says, one. Like, why didn't i cry when he proposed and i'm like no but <laughs> she cried trust me not I on video there yeah. yeah when we got into the car she was wailing she was wailing um, yeah. but then yes um then i went through school and stuff and got my an airline transport license and yeah but what i want to say when i came back yeah. i wasn't offered a job yet to fly yes, sir. um as is the norm out there right yes. fam like you've studied you got your degree you got your masters you got your phd even mm. but you're still sitting at home, still and, you home and you've got that and qualification you just don't have a job yeah and you just don't have a job so mm. what do you do again um i went well I, at least i still had the job um, at the company that sponsored yeah. me. And then I worked again, ground staff. Yeah, ground, worked as yeah. a ground, ground hostess. hostess, worked in mm. ops, um, two, two, qualify, two jobs, you know. And then, um, yeah, sleepless nights, fam. You know, sleeping at the airport, because at the airport, you know, there's flights that come in at mm. 2 a.m. in the morning, at 1 a.m. in the morning. I remember during weekends, yeah. these sometimes would come with me and would I'd stay hang there, around, hang around know? while I go attend to flights. Um, it's in the morning, it's freezing at 2 a.m. You have to, you know, be dressed up. Ooh. Oh, wait, and then there was a one time she called me. It was so late, fam. <gasps> what happened? Your car broke down. Oh, yeah, my car broke down. Like literally the, on the highway. Died. On, on the, the highway, highway. My by herself. Died. Did I not jump out of bed? Yeah, sure. 
called my friend just to back me up mm. because you don't just go to in the middle of the highway by yourself. Mm. I mean, mm. have somebody just to back you up yeah. and just to help you out yeah, to boost the, the car. And I, I just sat there. I just, I just had to slip that one in. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah like, I remember that. Hey. So, but, but it's a whole It's a whole <laughs> So, but then it took two years mm. for me to get the job that I have right now, uh, by the grace of God, and yeah. just being patient and being persistent. So, what I would tell my younger self is to continue to be persistent. Yep. So, whoever you are, wherever you are in your 20s, in your journey, in yeah. your journey, mm. don't lose hope. Yep. Always pray. I am a person of prayer. Yeah. I, I I speak to God like he's my friend. Of course, like, and you should. Like, and like he, as if he's like right here with mm. me. You don't have to wait until the evening or the mornings or whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Just speak to him as your friend. He is your friend. He's there for you, you know. So speak to him. But you need to understand that you need to also listen to him when he talks Very important. Back. Very important. Um, right? So that it does take a while, mm -hmm. but you just need to be persistent. Wow. Sometimes some jobs can seem diminishing to you yeah. and you feel like no I because there was a time when Disa didn't have a job and I was like babe go work at McDonald's or go work somewhere go wait go do, do something, something you know just you know? Get, and get some form of income he was close to considering it but then God just decided to open another door that's it so sometimes yes sometimes you will be pushed to maybe do a job that you're not comfortable or like doing. Period. even if you have your qualification mm. it is hard but sometimes you just need to get you know yourself pumped up again so that you don't lose hope mm. you don't know who you might meet when i was in the job that i was doing as a ground hostess i ended up meeting uh, my colleague my current colleague who not who who told me that there's a job they uh, there's a job at my opening yeah. mm. um sending your cv and i sent through my cv and i still went through the whole interview uh section mm. sessions so mm. it's not that it was nepotism or anything yeah, like yeah. it's not a family member but those are the career the challenges that you will experience so my challenges was was that it's a male dominated industry but you need to persevere mm. there's so many stories in aviation that not a lot of women are in True. aviation Agreed. but you need to see you, there are a lot of women it's just that unfortunately they're not there yet it will take time number two is finances mm. finances you might not have the finances so that means that you might need to take a second job True. a third job yeah. like don't be scared to take on some jobs you know in movies when you hear that oh no i have like three jobs no of course yeah. it does happen in life and it doesn't have to be the hard jobs and get doesn't, it doesn't have, have to. to be it doesn't Some, have to whatever talents you may have this is passion is you know video I'm, editing. I'm everywhere actually you, this is to be honest with you like jack of all trades master of everything throw it at me i'll do it <laughs> yes so that's my advice so yeah far. your advice well it's my advice before i go into the advice by the way we have a giveaway thank you oh, for yes. hanging on for this long into this <laughs> video we just want to give a shout out to bless beyond measure they are the sponsor of this video yes. and they're giving away two bomber jackets the white ones i'm sure you guys have seen them they're written blessed at the back um, if you would like to grab yourself one of those, yeah. really, what do they I have to do? I think they can do? choose a color as well. It yeah, maybe you don't want white. the white one. We love the white one. There's different colors. Mm -hmm. um, but what should they do? Uh, uh, just... Let us know uh, mm. where are you with regards to your career mm. and where are you? What are your options? Are you stuck? Are you succeeding? Just give us your story. Just give yeah. us your story and then, yeah. Random selection will give it to you guys. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you asked me a question just before that. But what advice would you give to Mudise? Is there anything, any mistakes um, that you did? with regards to job hunting would you have done it different i mean you know i, I would say that younger self be be patient you know be patient with yourself um mm. but draw closer to god because ultimately that's that's your your foundation right he knows exactly where you should be and at which point in your life yeah in that we mean like because you get frustrated yeah no you of course it's real you the get, frustration is you, real you cry mm. a lot i saw dc being you know frustrated it's sort of so you hard. know when you're in denial like i'm not depressed man yeah. don't tell me about depression yeah. and i was like actually i am depressed mm -hmm. man mm. but you just but once you you connect to god and just yeah. speak to him i promise you you you'll be so at peace that's and it he will direct you in the, in the path that you need to go exactly because he says i know the plans that i have for you <laughs> declares the lord right plans to prosper you and not to harm you mm -hmm. plans to give you a future Mm -hmm. and a hope mm -hmm. that's God right there right and mm -hmm. and so that's what I would tell my younger self that you know I just hold on to God draw closer to him because ultimately he's going to direct you mm -hmm. like my beautiful wife just mentioned even if you have to take a main day job right even if you have to be an intern for two three four five years Which you humble did. yourself I did, it. I did it I did it I did two internships in fact you did? yeah I did in my life you know that no no you did you initially yeah initially and then, and then again then, yes. later in life but you know what it's all about humbling yourself because God sets you up right the devil might set you up for disaster but man I'm about to preach 
Woo, holy. Okay, wait. Listen, just trust God. And he's going to assign and appoint people in your path that are really going to bless you, that are really going to catapult you into the next level, right? But you just need to just remain close to him. Like I said, just keep him close like your friend. I would also say to younger self, embrace your passion projects. Yeah. They're there for a reason. God really just gives you these gifts, right? And that's one thing I told her, I said, and I pray, I said, God, you've given me so many gifts. I don't want to leave this life not having tapped into what you've given me. Mm. You know, I know, yes, I can be a doctor if I want. I could have been an accountant if I wanted to. Yeah. But then God, there's something else. Yeah. And he calls me to sports, I'll do it. But yeah. there's so much more that I, I would love to do. And I'm sorry, I would just like to add to that. It's never too late to start again. I was about to say that. It's now, never now you, too late. But, oh, you're never too my, old my lines, to start but again. But share, like, that's my line. I'm... Anyway, it's never too late to start. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's true, fam. It's never too late. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are. If you have to start back from zero, just mm -hmm. do it. Um, younger self, what would I say as well? Um, I would say that, yeah, just humble yourself. Like you said, you know, humble yourself and... Um, and it's okay if you're frustrated. Yeah. You know, it's it's all about connections. Network with those that you need to network mm. with, right? So um, I would also like to add that do your research. I, I do get a lot of DMs, and I apologize, fam, for not responding to your DMs. But please, please, please. Yeah, do your, much, your research do your as much research, as you can, and then then find advice from other people. Tell them that you've like already you. done your, <laughs> your research. Yeah, they must find advice yes, like, from you. Yes, fam, fam, my channel is coming soon. I was about to drop that <laughs> one right right now, right? Some exciting news. Rehu is about to break off from Rehu Disa channel. And she's going to open up her own channel. Yes. Aviation it's only going to be base. her. I won't be there, fam. Maybe behind the camera. Obviously, I'll be behind the camera. So Maybe I'll feature be. on Lisa one or two wants videos. To feature. Of course, Lisa wants to feature. But it's aviation based. So yeah. all the questions that I've been receiving on my DMs, um, everyone has been asking. I yeah. know I haven't gotten to them, but it's because I get the same question so many times. So therefore, I will uh, respond, respond with, with the video. Video, yeah. So and address them all. reference, anybody can get it. It's on my channel it's coming soon fam it's coming soon so that's what we uh have to share with you guys for today uh was there anything else you wanted to add no um just mm. positive it's hard i know it is it's hectic right yeah career, career your career should be fun it should, it should be, be yeah fulfilling mm. it, you should love it um and, and i feel like you should feel like there is a sense of purpose yeah like is I this the purpose for my life? Mm, mm. Am I impacting the world the way I should? True. It's not, okay, I know people will fight me on this one. It's not all about the money because ultimately the money won't drive you, like it won't get you going every day. You understand? Mm. It's about that passion, that purpose, that fulfillment of I'm doing that, which and I know I'm called to do. Anybody. It's not about you, pleasing people. Yeah, it's not about mm. pleasing anybody. It's about the fact that if you've got the passion for it, go for it. And if yeah. it's multiple, Ooh. then do it. Well, and I've got the final one. And Which this is the one that speaks to me and it happened to me. It's that be willing to pick up skills as you go along, right? Important. Very important. Upskill yourself, yeah. right? You can say to yourself, I'll be a doctor and that's it. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Mm -hmm. Then that doesn't happen and force yes. through. Which which goes hand in hand mm -hmm. with investing in yourself. Sometimes, that's it. sometimes, yes, I didn't have the money to maybe uh, pay for pilot's license. Yeah. So therefore, I would have to find a job to be able to pay oh, for yeah. myself. Yeah. So sometimes there aren't bursaries available. We know that uh, but you know maybe do the job in order to pay for it but it's hard exactly we understand we've been through it um but yeah yeah Literally. there will always be a breakthrough with, with god with by god his side right. always there will be a breakthrough i mean oh. the only constant in life by the way fam is change that's the only constant that in life. is so true things change seasons change we had the pandemic come and go jobs were lost mm. and people were panicking like oh my goodness i got retrenched what now what do i do my yeah. job it's redundant mm. they've gotten I people just, you know what i mean like just, just skill yourself really speak to change as yeah. well, which is a great point yeah is that um don't be scared of change please fam. change is so scary it is but it don't is. be scared there's uh. times if you maybe want to relocate to a different city Country, country, job, or different job. Yep, it is scary, mm. but you need to take the leap of the faith because you never know. It could be greener that grass on the other side, True. or it could be brown. Happen. It could be brown, and then you realize it's wrong. Then you go back. Then you go back. It's fine. It's life, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. But yeah, oh my. That, uh, you can take a bit of uh, some mm. nuggets from yeah. this conversation. And if you have anything to add, yeah. and you've walked this journey like us, you know, in our thirties now, or maybe in your forties, I don't know. Yeah. Come and share. 
it and help us. Like, yeah. We could change our our careers again. Again, we could Who change. Knows? Yeah, we could stop this whole channel and become something else. You know, oh, uh, baby. we never know. So, fam, fam, will never leave you guys. We love you too okay. much. But yeah, listen. Don't forget, we love you. And don't forget that there's two bomber jackets. I almost said up for sale. Up for sale. Ah, oh, for grabs. <laughs> Smile as a giveaway. Just don't forget to comment, okay? And um, it's yeah, been fun. It's, it's been, been real. Fun. Mm. Awesome, fam. Don't forget to subscribe. Yep, and join Turn the fam. Turn on the bam. post notification bell. Yep. Like this video if you do. <laughs> and comment down below. Of course. And hey, the series continues. continues. I wonder what's next. But until the next video. Oh, love. We love you, fam. Cheers, fam. Bye.